Hello everyone, I'm GK and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video today. So I've been in love with the Mardu Aristocrats deck that I've been playing and I wanted to give the Rakdos version a try. So I was searching MTG Goldfish and I just kind of found a couple lists and I just picked what I liked and picked what I didn't like and I thought I'd give it a try. So the list consists of 4 Gutter Bones, 4 Footlight Fiend, 2 Graveyard Marshal, 4 Priests of the Forgotten Gods, uh, 3 Rick's Mahdi Reveler, 4 Fireblade Artist, 4 Midnight Reaper, 4 Skewer of the Critics, 4 Judith, 3 Ravenous Chupacabra, 1 Gruesome Ma uh, Menagerie, holy cow, English is hard, 4 Dragon Skull Summit, 4 Blood Crypt, 5 Mountains, and 10 Swamps. For the sideboard, 2 Moment of Craving, 3 Lava Coil, 4 Drill Bit, 3 Theater of Horrors, 1 Gruesome Menagerie, and then 2 Ungroth the Flame Chain. So, we're going to give it a try on the traditional ranked ladder. This is so you guys can see whether or not it's a deck that you would like to build for Arena to spend your cards, or if it's a deck that you want to build in the paper world. I believe store championships are this weekend, and this deck is super fun. But if there are any decks that you would like me to play, let me know. You can let me down know down in the comments. You can let me know by message. Whatever you feel, I'm playing different decks all the time so just let me know so we draw another land which is unfortunate but we have we have this rick's Madi reveler to get rid of some so that is that is at least good for us so turn two we can go rick's turn three we can go midnight reaper we're playing against the guild gate deck so let's go ravenous chupacabra is actually not too bad for this matchup because we can kill that stupid goat so let's discard one of the blood crypts and we draw a mountain. Alright. We draw a Judith. So I think first things first, I want to play the Reaper. We can play the Reaper, it'll help protect us against the Ablaze if they have it. We can draw three cards. They do have Gates Ablaze, so we'll draw three. And then next turn we can play... Judith or we can go we could go priest too. So let's play our mountain Do I want to go priest plus ricks and then next turn we can go Judith? I think I want to do that we'll get this We'll get this going so we'll cast priest cast ricks And we'll discard we'll discard this blood crypt We draw a mountain so next turn we can go Judith get back the uh Get back the little gutter bones. So let's go Judith. Start applying more pressure, basically. And then let's... Do we want to get back the gutter bones or just cast another priest? I think I want to get back the gutter bones. And then next turn, if they have another ablaze, that'd be unfortunate. Um, let's go... We'd be putting we'd be putting a lot of pressure on them if we go priest though. So let's let's play the priest. If they play the angel next turn, like we have we have ways for them to get rid of it. We have chupacabra. We can then sacrifice the chupacabra. Like we have we have options. So this is the gates, the nexus of gates deck. Wilderness was like such a mistake of a card. I hate that it exists. Like it's just. I don't know. It, it almost makes everything kind of unfair. And the fact that there's, what, three or four different styles of deck with Wilderness plus Nexus. and I don't know. It just might be me being salty or complaining. But I just I just don't like it. Draw your cards. That's fine. It's a 4-4. Four, four, so do we just have... Ugh, they just get to keep on tapping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another Nexus. Why must we always be chaining these things? Why must why why must we always be chaining these things? Explosion. So they'll get to draw three more cards. And then let's deal a point of damage. So we'll be able to shoot next turn and then attack in with the creatures. Footlight Fiend. Okay, so we'll play Chupacabra. Kill the Hydroid Krasis. And then let's attack in for some damage. And then we'll play Footlight Fiend. Alright, opponent. I'm sure they have a second Hydroid Krasis. 
It's like the new Siege Rhino. It always comes in pairs. Always comes in pairs. But it doesn't look like it. Unless it's another Wilderness Reclamation. Then we're going to be getting a, we're going to be getting explosion expansion for a ton. A rather butt ton to be precise. You can do it. You can figure it out. I know it's hard matching your colors with the colors on the cards and there's so many different ones. What do you got, opponent? Please just don't explosion expansion me. I feel like that's Worst case scenario, and we probably just lose. You've already cast one, though. It's not fair if you get to cast another. Maybe we wanted to leave one of these priests back, just in case. That was probably a play mistake. Leave a priest back. Guild Summit. Draw four cards. No cards. Draw a root. So we're going to draw two cards anyways. And then this wilderness will untap. We have priest. And then we also have skewer of the critics. So we might be able to win this next turn. Just as long as they don't have anything super busted. Which, good god, they're going to town. That's for sure. Growth spiral. I think we can kill them this turn. Just as long as they don't have anything super ridiculous. Because they can't cast a blaze. No! Reconnect! That's new. Sorry about that. I don't know what happens. Happens once in like a full moon. It just happened to happen on this video. All right, we're back. What did my opponent just cast? Something super crazy and angry just hit the battlefield. Oh, the other, I guess the opponent conceded. That's what happens. We, we get out of the game and then our opponent concedes. I like it. So we'll bring in the theaters. Let's bring in... Do we bring in Ongroth? Exile a creature card from your graveyard. So um, a part of me wants to bring in Ongroth, but a part of me doesn't. Like, it's just so slow. Maybe we'll bring in a couple theaters, that's for sure. And then let's get rid of... So the... The Ravenous Chupacabra is fine. The Gruesome Mandre is probably on the draw is a little too slow. And then the Graveyard Marshals. I like that we can exile things from our graveyard that they kill with the Ablaze. So we need to get rid of five cards still. Let's get rid of... The Footlight Fiends don't really do a whole lot in this matchup, so we'll get rid of those. And then the Midnight Reaper is good against the Ablaze. Let's do it. We'll get rid of... We'll get rid of a Rix. We'll see how this goes. And if we need to change things for game two, we will. These theaters might not even be good, though. We might just get rid of them on the, on the play. They might be too slow. This hand is terrible, but our opponent is also mulliganing. So we'll keep this. We need to land on top. That would be best case scenario. That is not a land, so we will ship you. Land, please? Ah, thank you. You're too kind. So next turn we can go Drill Bit plus Skewer, and then we can play Midnight Reaper or Judith. So that's good for us, actually. Change of plans. We're going Fireblade Artist. Our opponent played this, which tells me they don't have any other lands in hand. Because um, why, would, why would you play this on turn two? Unless it's basics. They could have basics in hand. But even then, that means they can't ablaze us. So we're just going to apply as much pressure as possible. So yeah, I think that tells me that they don't have any more lands in hand. Because they just played the the Simic Guildgate. Which, why would you not play that on turn two? It doesn't make any sense. Um, so let's attack in. And we didn't draw a third land. So we can at least drill bit you. Take something good. So they have a forest so they can play the roots. Do we just take the guild summit? Or do we just take the Hydroid Crisis? Maybe we take Hydroid Crisis. We're going to take the Hydroid Crisis just because... Like, if they want to root next turn, that's fine. They'll tap out. If they want to root again, that's fine. They'll tap out. For the most part. So let's draw a land and play Judith, please. That would be... That would be best case scenario. 
All right, land ho, here it comes. That's the opposite of a land, dang it. All right, we can draw a land again and they'll be dead. No! Oh, dang it, tilt. That's unfortunate. If we if we drew the land, the Judith would have secured the win because it would have pinged them for lethal damage. Unfortunate, that's okay. We have Midnight Reaper for next turn. There's the land. It's only it's only one turn late. Only, only. I guess technically it's two turn late. I would have taken it the turn before too. But we have Judith. And we can attack in with this Midnight Reaper. And that'll allow it so that if, if they have another Ablaze, we can just kill them. They get to draw so many cards though. It's unfortunate. Luckily we took the Hydroid Crisis though. Play a creature. I dare you. Please don't. Actually, if I don't draw a land, I'm going to be super upset. Explosion! Opponent is going ham now. Alright, skewer the critics. Land? I think so this actually was the perfect draw. Hooray! When you're just good at magic, I guess. As for a land, it was just like, nah, -uh, you don't need it. Here you go. Alright, we're one to know. We're moving up to platinum two. We're moving up in the world. Moving up in the world. Alright, let's go in for game two. We'll play three games total today. Feel like that's a good number. Hopefully this Aristocrats makes it so it's not a 50 minute video like the last couple have been. That was that was a perfect draw. That was good. I would have taken a land too, but why not just secure the win? I mean, just not even let them untap. It's even better. So definitely taking the Hydroid Crisis was correct. So we'll play first. And this hand seems... It's a little on the slow side, but we have Ricks. We can find another land. We can get rid of one of these Judas. If we draw a third land, I might be inclined to... I might be inclined to play the Priest. Or do we just draw... Or do we just play Ricks so we can attack in next turn? Let's play, let's play Priest. We might be playing the green-black deck, so I kind of just want to get this ball rolling as soon as possible. Oh my god, that is tilting. Okay, so let's go pay two life. Let's go Judith. And we'll attack in for two. They're not going to block. Next turn, though, if we draw a land... We can go, uh, actually, I guess in just in general, we probably want to go Rix plus Footlight. I can sacrifice these two creatures, and then all these creatures are dying. Like, they're all dead. Except they got the two lands, unfortunate. Wild Growth Walk. Okay, so there's a land. Let's go... We could go Footlight Fiend. Alright, let's go, let's go Rix Madi. Oh, shoot, this is hard. So I could, I'm trying to think of the best way possible. I could go Rick's Mati, get rid of the Judith, play Footlight Fiend, sacrifice, and then skewer the Wild Growth Walker. I think I like that play. So let's go this. We'll play Rick's. Discarding Judith. We draw a Swamp. Let's activate you. And target you. So sacrifice this. The Judith triggers will go on the stack first. Plus the foot life fiend. So we'll kill you. We'll kill you. And we'll kill you. Oh, look at that. That was fun. Alright, now you have to sacrifice a creature. We draw a gutter bone. So let's now skewer the wild growth walker. And then we can also play this gutter bones. Would you look at that? That was fun. <laughs> Whether or not it was actually a good trade-off for us, it was it was fun. So we draw Fireblade Artist. Okay, let's play Fireblade Artist. And then let's go to combat. Attack with these two guys. They trade with the Fireblade Artist. That is fine, I believe. Yeah, that is fine. Take a point here, and that will resolve. So you're going down to nine. So I want to keep this Judith around as long as possible. Hopefully, hopefully they don't have Chew. Cast down on you. 
I think that's fine. We'll be able to hit them for a good amount of damage next turn. If they don't have another creature. If they have another creature, then... Shame on me. Find finality. Get back wild growth plus jade light. So can we draw a removal? Oh boy. Is that just lethal? That's three, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, this Fireblade artist is coming clutch twice now. Two games in a row. That is insane. Alright, so we're playing against green black. So let's play the lava coils. Theaters can come in and the Ongras. We could play the gruesome Mandre too. The Menagerie, I suppose. So we'll get rid of the Footlight Fiends. They're not doing much. We'll get rid of a Rix. Skewer seems good. Theaters. Ravenous Chupacabra is good. We have quite a bit of five drops now. Um, Ongroth just seems really... Well, no, let's let's take out the Ongroth for on the draw, I believe. Unless there's anything else that we'd prefer not to have. Let's take out the Ongroth. We'll play the Gruesome Menageries. Those seem like a little bit more fun. And then let's get rid of let's get rid of a couple skewers. I don't think they're going to be doing much in this matchup. And we're on the draw, so we just want to kind of like outgrind our opponent, which is going to let these. This is that's what the theaters are going to do. And then the gruesome menagerie is also just going to be super clutch. So this hand is fine. We have removal spell into theater, which is totally totally good. Our opponent's also mulliganing down to six. Shaj Sajmiri. So play Blood Crypt tapped. We need a land, please. Land would be best case scenario. That is not a land. All right, let's get in with Fireblade Artist. Please, we had three draws. I know you've been good to me, but you need to be you need to be nice to me again. They get a land. So Wild Growth Walker stays in the graveyard. Land. No, the opposite of a land. Tilt. Alright, let's Lava Coil. Let's at least do something so we can attack in. Tilt! We had three draws to draw a land. We definitely keep that hand. Like, that hand was super good. Merfolk Branch Walker. Alright, land please? No! Tilt! Um, let's just attack in. It's a one for one. We'll keep applying pressure. Ugh, that is so tilting. I deserve a land, dang it. Another Mur Merfolk Branch Walker. A Vivian on top. Oh no, that is the death of us. This is where it all ends. Another oh my god, we still didn't draw a land. Wow, that is crazy. Alright, let's play the Gutter Bones. And we'll pass the turn. We'll play this Lava Coil next turn. I feel like if we had Theater down, we would have won this. But we have Lava Coil for next turn. Hopefully we can take care of this Vivian. It's going to be very the difficult wilds though. Are my shield. Jade Light Ranger. So choose not to sacrifice. Hey, right on time. Right on time. Alright, let's play Judith. And we're sending him. This Vivian's got to go. This Merfolk Branch Walker will trade with something. I'm a survivor. Oh, Alright, so we have like Lava that, huh? Coil for next turn. We can get rid of a creature. Depending on what's in their hand, they'll get to draw another card from the Vivian, which is really unfortunate. But, oh no, that is so good. I think that's just game. Dang it. Alright, good game. We'll go to game three. Cry of Carnarium, unfortunate. So now the big question is, is do we want to bring in the Ongros now and take out the Gruesome Menageries? Or which one's, which one's better? How many lands? We're running 24, 15, 19. We're running 23 lands. So I, do, I definitely don't want to go big on the, on the three drop or on the five drops. So let's go. We'll try the Angras on the play. We can, we can get them out quicker. We'll try it like that. It's debatable. Maybe we want drill bits too. Just to get rid of like the hydroid craces and whatnot. So we're on the play. Oh my god. Don't do this to us. Oh, we had such a good chance. Priest will be fine. Oh, that's so bad. 
It just had to happen. We got so lucky game one, and it was just like, nah, -uh, sorry, fun's over. Play the priest. Oh, that's so tilting. These creatures are going to have to do work. Hopefully my opponent is just silly and kept a one lander. If we lose this one, that'd be so sad, Dink, which we're, we're pretty far down now. Merfolk Branch Walker. Wild Growth Walker, that is a problem. Nope, it's going to the graveyard. Another land. All right, play Judith. And we will not attack. We need, I'm trying to think of what we can draw off the top. Baraska's Contempt on the Judith. Yeah, there's, oh, that's unfortunate. There's like no way we win this game. No, tilts. All right, good game. I deserved it, I suppose. I'm sure I did something somewhere that made it so I couldn't win that game. All right, we're one and one. Last game, let's see if we can at least go two and one. At least go two and one. I do feel like if we weren't so quote unquote unlucky, we should have been able to win that. We just needed a good hand on game three. Um, but it is what it is. All right, so we are on the play. This hand looks good. Turn two priest, turn three midnight reaper, turn four ravenous chupacabra. I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like they did a little bit of detailing to the back of the cards. They look just a little... I don't know. I, I, I never look at it, so it could just be me. But they the, the magic looks a little bit different. I suppose I can just always go look at past videos. So let's go... Ooh, Footlight Fiend. You're a little late, buddy. So let's go Priest. But the nice thing is, is we can go turn three Reaper, turn four, we can go uh, Footlight Fiend plus Priest. And we can start doing just a little bit of value. We also have Chupacabra to get rid of like any wild growth walkers, which is good for us. They get a land, that's perfect. All right, another Chup. So pay two life, we'll cast Midnight Reaper. And we'll pass the turn. So next turn we can go Priest plus Footlight Fiend. Footlight Fiend will trigger, cure, kill the Merfolk Branch Walker, and they will also get to draw two cards, and they have to, they'll have they have to sacrifice their creature. So this is good. We have an engine going. We have an engine going. All right, Rix. So let's go Priest. Let's play Foot Life Bean. Activate Priest. Targeting you. And we'll sacrifice Priest plus Foot Life Bean. So that trigger will go on the stack. We'll target you. We'll draw two cards. Oh, we didn't draw a land. Hmm, interesting. We can at least play the Gutter Bones. So we'll play Gutter Bones. And then we can actually play Judith next turn, which is going to allow us to have just a ton of value. We can sacrifice off, I don't know, something. We could maybe play, maybe, hope, I'm hoping, best, best case scenario, we play Choop next turn. But if not, we could also play Judith, uh, deal a damage. Maybe we can draw into a land, play the Skewer. They have Jade Light Ranger. Thief of Insanity. They have lands galore. Lands galore. Okay, so there's a Judith. So do we... I could play Rix. I think I do that. So play Rix, discard Judith. Um, sacrifice the Gutter Bones plus the Rix. Make you sacrifice. Yeah, I like that play. So we'll do that. Cast Rix Madi. Get rid of a Judith. And then we'll sacrifice here. And we'll target you and you. We'll draw two more cards. Where's the land? Thank you. You took your sweet time getting here, that's for sure. Okay, so let's play... I guess now, so we can go play Blood Crypt. Cast Judith. Cast the Footlight Fiend. Next turn, we can go Fireblade Artist plus Fireblade Artist. 
And we even have sacrifice fodder for the priest. We can do the footlight fiend. And then we can cast ravenous chupacabra next turn too. So we could go chupacabra, hit something if they play another creature, sacrifice that creature. I think we've got this game pretty sealed. We're, we're value town city right now. Hasha's taker. Taking my footlight fiend. That is fine. I, I don't necessarily mind that. Cast the Fort Life Eater. So we can go Fireblade Artist. Fireblade Artist. And then is that just lethal? So that's attack for two, three, uh, so three, six. Yeah, I think we just attack with everything and then we have Priest too. So that should just be lethal. Because we could even leave back the priest, sacrifice the two creatures that are blocked. Okay, so for this matchup, what do we want to try this time? So I definitely want the theaters on the draw, the lava coils, and then maybe we just get rid of the four footlight fiends. Um, and then we'll get rid of a couple skewers and try it like that. That's a pretty... I think that's a pretty good curve. So we have... Yeah, let's try it like that. We won't bring in... We won't bring in the Angras or the extra gruesome. We'll just... We'll just try it. We'll bring in the, uh, we'll bring in the removal package for the most part. That priest did work that game. Like, so, so much work. It was quite enjoyable. Alright, the one joker. Opponent is going to choose the play, I assume, if they've ever played a standard match in their life. And then hopefully we don't, hopefully the same thing doesn't happen as last game. We're playing the same deck and I think we just got a little unlucky, which this hand, this hand looks amazing. This hand looks good. If our priest survives, we're happy. We'll play turn one gutter bones. Maybe we're supposed to get rid of the gutter bones on the draw and go into like a more controly route. All right, Merfolk branch walker. Draws a land. Let's go. So let's play our priest. And no attacks. We have Rix Madi for next turn, or we have Lava Coil, depending on what they do. They have another Branch Walker. Vivian. Man, that Vivian has been so annoying. Alright, we draw another priest. So we could go priest again. Or we can cast Rix. I think I want to cast... Hmm. Maybe... So, I think I cast Rix and get rid of this Priest. See if we can draw something just a little bit better. Theater of the Horrors is not bad. So, let's pass the turn. We'll have to do something about this Vivian, though. This Vivian's going to be a huge problem. Next turn, we can go Ravenous Chupacabra. We have Sacrifice Outlets, too. Uh, we can go Ravenous Chupacabra, or we could go, we can go Lava Coil plus Priest if we wanted. Does our opponent have nothing to play? Because that would be amazing. Our opponent has nothing to play. Okay, so land, and then I think we just get this theater out there. So we'll get the theater, and then we can just start accruing some value. They'll go Vivian. And then we have Chupacabra for next turn, so we can we can Lava Coil something, get in there, attack the Vivian, apply hopefully some pressure. How this thing goes is up to you. Or they do that. Sometimes That's pretty good. I I actually don't mind that because now we can kill, now we can kill the Vivian. All right, another theater too. That is that was amazing. All right, so cast Chupacabra kill you let's activate you so target you let's target or let's do choop and gutter bones and then we'll be able to play this theater and we can kill the vivian so we draw a card midnight reaper is pretty good let's play theater and then kill vivian that was a good turn. That was that was a really good turn. Is a new beginning. So we have Midnight Reaper for next turn, which will allow us to start crewing some value with our sacrifices. Another Vivian! Rude. Are you taking up or are you getting rid of the theater? So if you want to get rid of the theater, that is fine. We have Midnight Reaper coming down. We have an engine. 
So let's go Midnight Reaper. Let's attack in here and send you here. Let's do and then let's get back this Gutter Bones. If we get Cry of Carnariums, that'll be so unfortunate. But I think it's just a one of in most sideboards. The Dylan Gonigan list only had a one of. Baraska? What are you going to kill? Or are you going to make a token? Because if you make a token, that's fine by me. And if you minus three, that is also fine by me, I believe. We have Lava Coil. We can kill... I'll be taking that. We can kill whatever she plays next, too, with this Lava Coil. So we'll draw a card. And we draw Choop. Choop is... Choop is a good draw. I like Choop a lot. So we can Choop whatever they play next. Which they don't play anything. So let's play the Swamp. Let's all out attack here. Just in case they have a removal spell. Just in case they have a removal spell. And then we'll pass the turn. Um, Hydroid Craces off the top would be pretty bad. We have the Choop for it though. Fine finality. That's unfortunate. Alright, so what are we looking for? They're still at 17, too. They have so much land. Or so much life. So, let's pass the turn. Oh, that fine finality was good. Maybe we should have kept back the priest just to get a little bit of value. No! Cast a creature, dang it. I don't want to cast this chew, but I feel like I have to. Gutter Bones is a start. Let's play that. Do you have a counter spell? Because then we can start, we can get back this other gutter bones. If they don't have the removal spell. If they have the removal spell, then shame on me. But if we can get this gutter bones in, Landmore Elf is fine. So, ooh, Graveyard Marshal was also amazing. So let's go, let's go choop. Do we want a Chupacabra or Lava Coil? Because we could Lava Coil and play the Graveyard Marshal. So we, that's one, two. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine total. So that would be two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think we're going to do that. Let's go. So we need all the red sources. So we'll lava coil here. Let's attack on in. Please don't have a Varasa's Contempt. If you have Varasa's Contempt, though, that's okay. We'll just... We'll just play the Graveyard Marshal and we can start accruing some value. So play Graveyard Marshal. And then we'll pass the turn. So end step, we'll start exiling some creatures. No! Come on. Uh, we'll do... We'll do this Rix. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Hostage Taker was a good draw. It's okay, though. We have Ravenous Chupacabra. So they're going to be able to 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3. So they can at least activate it once. Oh, that is unfortunate. Alright, Fireblade Artist isn't a bad draw. So let's play... Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's play Chupacabra. They're still at 17. They have so much life. So they can get two creatures. So I feel like we have to kill the Graveyard Marshal. They can get value off of it. This Hostage Taker is awkward though. But that's okay. We have Fireblade Artist. We can start dealing a little bit of chunks of damage. We can deal two next turn. Our opponent has no cards in hand. We can sacrifice Gutter Bones. We just need you to not draw Hydroid Crisis, please. That is, that is best case scenario. So let's no attacks. And if you play Hydroid Crisis, I'm going to be really upset. Cry of Carnarium. Oh no. Blah, that's unfortunate. Okay, so that's going to come down next turn. That is going to wreck us. So what are we looking to draw? So we'll definitely sacrifice. We draw a Judith. So we can't necessarily do Judith yet. So we'll return you. 
And then next turn we can go Judith, Judith, Gutter Bones. So we're just gonna pass a turn. We'll still, we'll just do small increments of damage. We just wanna get them to cast this Cry of Carnarium. So we'll sacrifice you. We can play Gutter Bones, so we'll play Gutter Bones. And we'll pass the turn. So we're just going to kind of keep looping. We can get back Gutter Bones until they decide to pull this Cry of Carnarium. Which, there it is. And a Jade Light Ranger. Shoot. Another Jade Light Ranger on top. We need a good draw. A Priest of the Forgotten Gods is not terrible. So let's go Gutter Bones. Let's go Judith. And then we can go Priest. And then what are we looking to draw? We need we need goodies. We definitely need a creature. Um, if we can get like a Footlight Fiend or something, that would be pretty good. There's Jade Light Ranger. Another Cry of Carnarium. Oh my god. Wow, they actually have another one in the list. There's a Judith. Oh, that is unfortunate. Um, So let's just pass the turn. If they cast this cry, in response we can sacrifice. Um, so let's do this. And we'll target you. Choose these two creatures. So you'll have to sacrifice a creature. We can target, um, well, I guess whatever we target with the Judith, that's what they're, that's what they're sacrificing. So that's unfortunate. So we'll target you and we'll target you. So at least we'll get one of the creatures though. It'll get minus two, minus two. Hasha's Taker goes down. Their Jade Light Ranger is going to die. We need something good. We need something super good. We're going to take four. Something good. That is a swamp. All right, we'll play the Judith. We'll play it out. We have a chance at least. And then we'll play this Blood Crypt tap. Man, what we need in this list right now is a Bane Fire. Bane Fire would be so, so good. So we'll take eight. Did you draw another non-land? Ah, uh, tilt. All right, you got this one. Let's go to game three. Do I want to bring in? I guess the big question is: Is do I want to bring in these drill bits? Let's go. Let's bring in an Ongroth. And then let's go. We could get rid of the graveyard marshals. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we want to do because I kind of want to bring in a couple drill bits. So we'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you. We'll bring in Ongroth, and we'll bring in a couple drill bits. Let's try it like that. We'll try it like that, see how that goes. If we can drill bit even like a Hydroid Krasis or something out of hand, that would be best case scenario. We got this. We're going 2-1. Alright, this hand is feasible. It is doable. We can get rid of something with the Ricks. We can go Midnight Reaper into Judith. We have, we have the options. Would like a Gutter Bones, but can't complain. He can't have it all. Opponent going to play elf. They're very good about having that elf. So let's go... So options. Do we want to just lava coil the elf? Or do we want to let them have it? Let's go... Let's go Rix. Let's get rid of... Oh, I wish I didn't have to discard a card. Um... Do we risk it and get rid of the swamp and hope to draw another swamp? Let's go. Let's get rid of the swamp. Land? Okay. Woo! That was lucky. Very, very lucky. Alright, they have Jade Light Ranger. Fine finality. Oh, they want the fine finality. That's for sure. So let's go Midnight Reaper. Next turn we can go Gutter Bones. Uh, we could even play, we can go the gutter bones plus the drill bit, or we can go Judith and Ju drill bit. That would be, that would be also very good. It would be a very good, very, very good. 
We're kind of behind though, I think. Hosh's Taker. Would you stop with this Hosh's Taking? So now we're going Lava Coil. And we can also play, we can play either Gutter Bones or Drill Bit too, which is going to be good. So let's go Lava Coil. Give me back, give me back my Midnight Reaper, you jerk. Let's play the... Do we, uh, let's play, let's play the Gutter Bones. We will play, hopefully go Judith. We'll hopefully go Judith plus Drill Bit next turn. That is, that is the goal. We're hoping that we can either A, get this fine finale out of hand or get something good out of hand. If you cry of Carnarium me though, I'm gonna be super upset. Please don't. If you have it, I'm gonna be so upset. All right, Lanamore Elf. That is not a cry of Carnarium. So let's go. Let's attack in. Attack in with everything. Let's play Drill Bit. Hydroid Crisis, or we can take the Fine Finality. So they're at nine right now. Do we just take the Hydroid Crisis? Because they, if they find Finale, they're losing their board too. So let's do that. And then I think we just need to hold back. We'll hold back because we don't want them to play the Fine Finality. Maybe we're supposed to take the Fine Finality. Um, yeah, actually, it might have been correct to take the Fine Finality. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're attacking with everything. So they are playing Fine Finale this turn. Oh, they're not. Okay. Wow, they're not playing anything. Um. Three, six. Oh, do I want to risk it? Or do I just cast Lava Coil on the Jade Light Ranger? Why would they play nothing this turn? It's probably a removal spell, I assume. So if we play the Judith and they removal spell one of our creatures, that'll be 3-6. So I don't, I think I'm gonna play around the removal spell. Cause I assume that's what they have. There's probably a reason they didn't attack. And then let's go into combat. So I assume a Veraska's Contempt is coming. Yep, there's Veraska's Contempt, okay. So we'll cast Gutter Bones, and then depending on what they want to do, if they want to, they have Fine to get back this Hydra, uh, this Hydra, and they'll be able to cast it for one, two, three, four. Which that that would be a good play. One, two, and then yeah, one, two, three, four. They could play it, yeah, play it for four. So we need like a Lava Coil or something. They'll gain two, go to nine. That's three, six. They have to block though. Okay, Ongroth, he is a little late to the party. So if we go if we go Judith, he has to block. So let's play Judith. And then we're shoving. We are shoving, you have to block. And I think I'm gonna get rid of one of these elves. Actually, if I get rid of the elf or Oh uh, no, yeah, we'll just get we'll get rid of the Hydro Crisis. I don't know what I was thinking. Have to get rid of the Hydro Crisis. Please don't have anything, I beg you. Veraska's Contempt for the Judith. That would be unfortunate. Be the second one. Alright, Cry of Carnarium. Wow, they are so good at drawing that. So, so good at drawing that. But that's okay. If we can attack it, if they don't have the Veraska's Contempt. All right, so Rix. So I assume we probably just attack in with the gutter bones. They'll have the cry. We can Rix, hopefully search for a land. We're kind of hoping for a land. Um, or do we just attack with everything? If they have Veraska's Contempt, we just lose. So do we play around? If they have the Veraska's Contempt, they get rid of the Judith. Um, and then they'll be cracking back in for five, but we can play the Rix or the Midnight Reaper. So do we just attack with everything? I think, I think we're just going to attack with everything. I think I've convinced myself. Attack with everything. They'll have to block. Please don't have Veraska's Contempt. That would be worst case scenario. 
Please do not have it. Plus, they have this cry next turn, so they're exiling our creatures anyways. Alright, it's all down to this. God, we really want this Ongroth on the table. We just need to draw the lands. Alright, so they have to they have to have a removal spell or else they have to throw something in front of this gutter bones. Here it comes. Here it comes cast down. So if we just target here, that's that's lethal, right? So target here, move to damage? Or oh sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. So we'll do one here, and then let's cast the So let's cast Gutter Bones? So they'll have to cry of Carnarium, right? Or do we cast the Ricks, get rid of the Midnight Reaper, hope for a land? Ugh, this is hard. Um, I could cast Gutter Bones. We'll go to one. Or I kind of, I, uh, I just want that land so bad. Um, let's go... Let's go with the... This is hard. Um, let's go with Rix. I'm going for the land. No, it wasn't a land. Shoot. That's okay. I deserve that. That was my fault. Yep. Cry. Get rid of everything. Do you have a follow-up creature? You have a you have a land more elf. So Fireblade Artist is good. Um. Okay. Let's go Fireblade Artist. They have to block, and then they have to top deck like Baraska's Contempt. Or some sort of removal spell. They have to block. And then we have Priest for next turn. Don't draw anything, please. Yes! Okay. We at least went two and one. I might have misplayed that last game a little bit. I'm not sure. But that decision was hard. I risked it and went for the land. But we luckily drew... That Fireblade artist just came in clutch so many times. Like, there were so many times where I won the game just because it came off the top. But that's what you do in an aggro deck. But yeah, I don't know. The deck felt good. I miss having the reinforcement card, but this one seems a little more consistent. I didn't have mana problems, and Ravenous Chupacabra is super good with Priest, but yeah, I don't know. The deck felt fine. The sideboard is a little... I, I need to learn how to sideboard, because there was never a point in time where I wanted all of these in. So I'll have to look at the sideboard just a little bit more. But yeah, I don't know, if you enjoyed the deck, please hit that like button. I would super duper appreciate it. And if you want to see further content, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, that is all for me. Good luck at FNM. Good luck at your store championships, whatever you may be doing. And I will see you next time. Bye.